Shalom Israel. I praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. The bonus to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much love and respect to you, brothers out there preaching the truth and sincerity. And um, you know, I just wanted to do another video on this net neutrality thing. You know what I'm saying? I scrolled past this video here that says uh death date announced for the internet. And uh, I just wanted to see what this guy was talking about. And uh I haven't made it all the way through the video yet. He said um that, that death that, that date is gonna be uh December the 14th is when they have their final vote for this net neutrality thing. And what this net neutrality thing basically does is it protects the freedom of speech on the Internet. It allows uh, movements such as uh, the, the Hebrew Israelite movement and, uh, you know, these different little uh, alternative media sites. It allows them to continue to, uh, you know, put out their content with an anonymity or, you know, without being controlled. Here, I'm going to let this go ahead and... Uh, play a little bit just to kind of give a scenario a law so uh, along those lines the hill reports the move is a win for companies like verizon comcast and at&t which would be free to restrictions on blocking or throttling certain content or requiring websites to buy into internet fast lanes so like you were saying they would be freed of the restrictions that are currently in place so they're restricted right now from blocking or throttling certain content or requiring websites to buy into internet fast lanes. So it's kind of like how you got a phone service, right? Now I had Metro PCS, now I got a different company. So anyway, when you compare the two, the one company, Metro PCS, even when you have their 4G, it's slow. It's like just barely fast enough to do certain things and let alone once you get to a certain amount of usage they throttle you down you get you get taken way down to like 3g 2g speeds and i'll say 3g and you can barely access anything with that you know and uh it's not like it really i mean i don't see how it really cost them anything it's like an artificial type of thing you know what i'm saying for them to say oh man too much data is going through you know we're gonna have to slow you down you know it's this fake unlimited you know, they, t they say unlimited when, when it's really not. And uh, so it'll basically be like that. You know, they can slow you down. If you click on something, you know, it says Esau the devil, it'll crawl to a halt. You know, you can put it on the lowest quality possible. You know what I'm saying? Take it down to, all the way down to 144 and it still won't load. You know, it's basically what they'll be allowed to do if they don't agree with the type of content that's being released. I'm going to talk a little more. Hey, all you all right guys out there, you got all the cash in the world to get into a fast lane? Let's see if I can find have the final vote on December 14th. I'll tell you about that in a second. Okay, that's what I want to know about. Do they have pres web presence? They have gigantic. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so why am I fighting for it as a progressive? Because I, okay. uh, who's an FCC commissioner, said, the, uh, God's honest truth, she said, our internet economy is the envy of the world because it is open to all. This proposal tears at the foundation of that openness. It hands broadband providers the power to decide what voices to amplify and which sites we can visit, what connections we can make, and what communities we create. It throttles access, stalls opportunity, and censors content. Yeah. And so that's basically the gist of it. And, um, you know, like he said, and this video also says the same thing, freedom of speech on the Internet ending on December 14, 2017. You know what I'm saying? That's what's on the horizon you know i don't know if it's going to actually come Guys, to pass very right important then. message Hold today on. net neutrality is threatened by the fcc and they're gonna yeah you know i ain't gonna get too deep into it like i said before this dude looks in the internet look at this guy you know, man will be forever he looked like a shield if you don't know net neutrality right now requires to give everyone equal access you know and, and imagine if you had this type of system you know in addition to what you already pay Oh, you want the YouTube bundle, huh? You want to be able to use Google to search? You know what I'm saying here? You got to pay the $5. Let's get the $5 package, the $5 search package, $5 YouTube and search package. There you go. Oh, you want to keep up with your news? Here you go. Five more dollars. You want to play games? Five more. You know? And this is just a little, you know, you, oh, dang. You got to pay to use PayPal and Amazon? Wow. That would be, you know, crazy. I mean, of course, this is not put into effect, but that would be a heck of a you know a thing to have to deal with man but it's coming you know like i like i brought out earlier in the um uh, in the first video that i made 
um, which I believe I made that video day before yesterday. Yeah, yeah, like Thursday. On it was still November, but yeah, you know that would be a hell of a thing. Uh, and like I said, it's gonna bring in basically the famine of the word. You know, what I'm saying they're gonna really, if you haven't already learned about this truth, <clears throat> you're only gonna be able to find it on the highways and byways. And you know, it's crazy, man. I mean, for me, that'll probably end up being one less bill <laughs> because it's gonna get to the point where this is gonna this is basically gonna usher in. Um, and basically remove all restrictions from what I was, what Esau's already doing. We know Esau's already monitoring, monitoring everything that we do. We already know that. We already know he's watching every video you click, every message you send. You know, if you if you got a phone, you sign into your Google account. You know what I'm saying? They're tracking you from device to device. You know what I'm saying? Hey, they keeping a digital, uh, well, a digital record, a digital folder of you know. That whole trail is probably just collected on you. This guy does this. He watches these type of videos. He does this. He does that. He posts this. He says that. We know that. Esau wanted to exalt himself above all things that are God. Let's see. Sorry, I had to move my mic. So second Thessalonians two and four. Let's go. You to slow me down already, ain't you? Hey. Now we beseech you, brethren. So I'm gonna start at Second Thessalonians. This is uh two. And I'm gonna start at one. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, and by our gathering together unto him that ye be not soon shaken in mind. Or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter, as from us, as that as that the day of Hamashiach is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there become a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. And Esau's being revealed, and this is what he does, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God or Yahweh, or that is worship, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. So that's basically what Esau doing, man. He already been setting up these different little systems of control to keep an eye on you. He's, you know, if you, I mean, we had okay, so we had the little um the little wire phones you had landlines at one point and of course all that went back to esau's system but it was probably a little harder to know who was doing what you know but as that advanced to the cell phones and then that advanced to cell phones with cameras and that advanced to faster networks and the whole the whole keeping your contacts and your different information on your google account and signing into those different accounts they even got some phones that come integrated with facebook you know and if you you know if the most high put it on your on your spirit for you to not understand no better and you sign into that hey now they know exactly who you are and they just go ahead and keep track of them oh there's their facebook oh they they went over here man you know what as a matter of fact if you go somewhere and you come back home you know or you leave a place on your on your account i mean on your phone they ask you hey how was your visit to this store i don't know if anybody else ever had that happen but they they ask you about your visit to certain stores you know they they tracking your every move, man. You know, of course, like you just said in that scripture, you know, don't be troubled in mind, you know, about that. But just, you know, we're not ignorant of Satan's devices, man. So ultimately, I also want to add in, you know, that just goes to show you that the spirit was on the apostles, man. The spirit was on the apostle, the apostle Taha, man, to tell people, hey, man, start pushing these videos because, hey, man, look, look what's happening, man. He... I don't even think he knew. I don't even think he really knew. Maybe he did. They said they've been voting on this for a while, but I didn't hear him really mention it, mention it until recently. You know what I'm saying? After after I heard about it, then I saw another video. Then I was like, oh man, he he talking about the same thing I was just talking about. 
I ain't with the brothers. But anyway, you know, it just goes to show you, man, that the most high put that spirit on him to say, hey, man, push this word, man, push this word, because guess what? This unicorn about to die, man. You ain't going to be able to push it that freely, man. Ain't going to be nothing but the highways and byways, and pretty soon they're going to crack down on that. You know, that's the next step, man. That's the next step. So, you know, we just got to be wary, man, of what's coming. This is what's coming, man. I'm about to get rid of it. And it's those goofy goober looking uh, dude right here, man. You know, it's so weird, man, to even see this dude sometimes, man. Hold on. Where we at? Our history. Man. Is this the one? So we're gonna. I mean, this dude just looked like a puppet. Arms, but a new poll a puppet. leftist groups. Hey, the chairman of the Federal Communications Commission, so. the FCC, Ajit Pai, joins us now. And don't uh, he look like a? Thank you very much. This looks like a picture. This looks like a picture until he actually starts moving. I'm like, what? For joining us he was actually morning. there. So first, these protests. They're outside your house in your neighborhood. You know, t plastic flyers on your on your neighbors' uh, doors as well. Why, why are they doing this? Well, I think this is an important issue, and people feel very passionately about it. And so, this particular you just group got that, uh, felt the need to let my neighbors know what they thought. Smile as well just plashed it on his face, man. At the end of the day, I'm going to stay focused on the facts and try to be as civil as I can be to every American who's involved in the debate. They've been putting door. He drunk with the wine of Esau, man, because he got a he got a so-called uh, what Indian? He got an Ishmaelite name, Ajit Pai. You know what I'm saying? Got a little melanin look like. But he he drank with the wine of Esau, man. He had he got the spirit of Edomite on him, man. They agree or not on any particular FCC issue, they've been really supportive. <laughs> you know, hey man, you been, you know, get all in the marking the dude, but man, the dude, the dude kind of infuriates you when you're just looking at the dude, man. You get on your nerves. I want him to shut the hell up, shut his big mouth. But yeah, man, this is the face of of the. Uh, of net neutrality here and pretty soon uh we ain't gonna be able to see brothers like you know adam abbott and them prophesying uh america's utter, utter destruction and pretty soon we ain't gonna be able to find that these type of videos let alone if we can even get on youtube after after that happens so hey i mean i mean i guess that's when they'll they'll vote on it it's on the 14th how soon after that will it go into effect we don't know what we do know is you know, now it's even more, now it's even more so a time of diligence, you know what I'm saying, for us to push out this word, you know, um, as much as we can, man. Every every moment that you can, every time you get an inspiration to make a video, man, just make it. You know, no matter where you at, just make it. Put it out there. Because uh, pretty soon you ain't going to be able to, you know, you know. Here's what it is, man. You brother, stay strong in the faith, man. I'll praise to you. How about it? Shame you out shy. Double honor to the apostles and elders. A great millstone. Much love to you brothers out there preaching the truth and sincerity. With that, I say shalom.